Good morning, my lovely Virgo, and welcome to your monthly reading. Even true, this is for March. You can see this whenever it comes to you. My readings are always timeless. You can have Virgo wherever in your chart. You can be dealing with a Virgo. Remember to check out your other signs as well for more information. There might be more information or deeper information when it comes to your moon sign. Maybe you do have Virgo in your moon sign. Take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the roles. You can be male, you can be female. I have pre-shuffled these three decks. We also have the normal tarot. And I'm just going to pick whatever is on the top. This is going to be a message from your higher self. But first of all, I do want to go through some channeled messages and talk about the upcoming new moon and full moon. I do feel there is clarity about either love or about a person. It is a different entity, so some of you guys might already have this clarity or it's a clarity that you are going to have, whatever this is. Maybe we're going to get more information about it after. I did hear someone say that it's much easier to go after what it is that you want once that you know what that is. It felt kind of like a question that someone asked you, and I saw 252 with that. So you might be shy when it comes to stepping into the spotlight, and you're dealing with someone who's a bit shy when it comes to stepping into your spotlight. The new moon in Pisces that we have the 13th of March will help you clear away the old habits. These habits can be different things. It can be addictions, too much drinking, overeating or not eating enough. Self-hate, I saw tree for tree. And there might be a message there. There might be something with money issues or trust issues. I do see that a lot of you guys are diving into music. You're diving into poetry. You're creating something out of that. You're communicating with someone or you're talking with someone. There's... Yeah, there is a communication. Either it's a new person or it's an old person. Talking things out. Sharing ideas. The full moon that we have in Libra on the 28th is all about relaxing for you. But it's also about letting go of money issues. Or letting go of possessiveness possessions, what you own or what you wish that you own. If you're holding on to something, it's hard to let the new in. But with that, let's take the first card and see. We have delight and we have a lot of birds. There's also spring feelings. The Holy Grail. Life force, regeneration, spirit, and wisdom. So, the spirit kingdom is bringing you messages. Birds are bringing you messages. Maybe even the stars at night. Hmm. Eleven. Here we have twelve. Sacred convergence. Again, this message of communication jumps out again. Spending time with other people. Obviously, this can also be online. But I do feel that Someone, someone is like comparing in a positive way as sharing information. Maybe sharing spiritual information. Maybe you're finding a spiritual group to hang around with, to talk with online. Something that will delight you. Something that will bring you back on track. The joy that you are going to experience from this is going to usher in creativity it is going to make you blossom it's going to make something new blossom 
it's you finding the holy grail. It's you finding something that you felt you had lost. I do feel there's a group of new people, a soul tribe coming your way. Some of you guys might already have found people from that soul tribe, but there's more to come. There are new opportunities coming your way with all this. There's new beginnings presented to you now. You need to be open to receive the flow of the gift. And I do feel animals are, you know, like spirits in form of animals has something to do with it. Rabbits, uh, birds. This is really a time for you for new beginnings, for love, for birth of projects. There's a new circle starting in your life. The message from the spirit guide is that you will are going to feel more energetic, more motivated. I feel you are letting go of lower vibrational friends or just people in general. Workspace maybe even. Possessive, possess, possessions. So something that you own, something that reminds you of something bad that happened. You are just lighting up the load, so to say. Cleaning up your space, which is perfect when we have full moons. Letting go of the ego. I don't know why there's something about letting go of a gamer. Or letting go of gaming. Maybe gaming with one's mind. It's interesting. Something with gaming. Or games. Letting go of fear. Letting go of manipulation. Let's see what else we can get for you. But... Hmm. Wow. The Ace of Cups and the Hermit, which is you. Maybe you are finding a Taurus. Or you are finding a teacher who are actually teaching you something around love. Makes you actually step into the spotlight. Because I have a feeling that some of you guys are a little afraid of stepping out there. There's something else being represented to you. If you're breaking loose of an old relationship, there might be a new relationship coming in. Or a new teacher. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, wow. Maybe it's also a Scorpio. There's a new beginning here, people. You have two major arcanas. Three major arcanas. Yeah. Teaching or learning something new. Not being afraid. And I do see that you are letting go of something. Work. Partnership, relationship. Emotions. You're moving fast into the new. You're using your intuition. Maybe there's something about uh, Pisces. Or it's the Pisces new moon that's moving you forward. You're using your intuition. It's very, very badass. Because you're taking your, your power back. I heard someone say, who would have thought? I don't know what that means, but it must mean something. Hmm. But I hope this could help you. If you are in need of a more detailed reading, you are welcome to book a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks with me. All information is down below. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!